Here we're going to continue from where we were before and we're going to convert a few more data types. So I, for example, want to print, um, let's say, let's say I don't want to print any strings. Let's say I want to print the number 77.5 plus, uh, minus the number, sorry, 25, um, plus number, number. Now, the problem is, the variable number is actually a string. Now, if I try and add these as they are, it won't work because the data types will be as follows. Float plus int plus string. And what I want is either float and int and int or float plus float plus float or int plus int plus int. I basically want these three to be either float or int and I don't want this string to be here. Fortunately, I can actually convert the string into an int. You see there? Or float. So, print 77.5 minus 25 plus float number this should work because i've converted the number into float let's try it there we are and that's the proof that it's working so this has now become float plus int plus float and let's try it again except this time i just want to test my theory that i can turn that into an int instead of a float so int of number and let's try that again it still prints so it doesn't matter what combination of float and int it is because python can handle those two different data types and it just can't handle other different data types okay now let's say i have another number let's call it number two and that number is 78.9. And I don't want a floating point number. For some reason, I just want that to be an int. Yeah? It just has to be an int. I don't know why. Maybe I've got some crazy compulsion that forces me to see that forever as an int. Well, I can actually turn it into an int. So, the int of 78.9 printed is 78 i don't actually have to print it i can actually um go here to the console and just make an int of uh, 78.9 and see the result but i'd rather print it because it stops people from being lazy now this print statement here this integer conversion has turned it to 78 whereas you might want it to be uh 79 there are ways to do this but i'm not going to show you that in this video i'm going to cover a maths video at a separate point but anyway this is what will happen if you convert a float into an int you can also convert ints into floats so let's say number equals 99 no number three equals 99 sorry and um, we want to convert that into a float we simply just do, I'll do the print statement. We don't have to do a print statement, as I've said. Float of number three. I could just, and I will do it here, float of number three. And this should come out to 99.0. Oh, I haven't defined it yet. Sorry about that. Yep. Float number three. Boom. What? What? Nothing. Nothing. I get nothing. What? 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 Name rent is not the. F that, for some reason, didn't happen. I'm not entirely sure why, but it just didn't happen there. But anyway, in the print, it's happened. So it is 99.9. Uh, zero to confirm. So those are just a few new. Uh, New conversions are, I kind of wanted to 
come across that's 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 it really in terms of conversions the next thing really i want to get into is uh actually going to be variables changing variables or using variables in different ways so let's make a variable called extrude number i've spelt that really badly but that doesn't really matter it's not really the point of the video in fact i'll spell it properly for those of you who have problems with the english language gertrude's number uh, let's say i want gertrude's number to be equal to number two uh, plus number three i don't want it to be equal to 84 anymore right let's uh, just check the value of gertrude's number check that it is 84 so it is 84 there's our checking now i want gertrude's number to be equal to 99 no number three sorry plus 78.9 no plus number two sorry oh, i'm just so swamped today nope. look at this look at all these bloody mistakes i'm making gertrude's number is number three plus number two so that should be like a hundred and 70 uh, 7.9 or something like that so let's have a look now what gertrude's number is um copy and paste that there gertrude's number 177.9 exactly right i can now change these numbers and gertrude's number will also change right don't really need that print statement but i'll keep it there Gertrude's number is now equal to number. Well, actually, let's print out Gertrude's number now. Do you think it will be this new number? Or do you think it will be 177.9? Let's see. It's 177.9. The reason is because we haven't registered the new assignment. So we've given it the value of the uh, number 2 and number 3 before we change their value so we have to reassign this value and that's 176.454 okay in this way i've changed uh, the value of this variable right we, we started there and i can take these two variable numbers i can also do this with a string so we'll say string one equals hell okay string two sorry hello equals world so we got hello world here okay now i want string three to be equal to hello world but instead of putting that, I can put string 1 plus string 2. Now remember, there's not actually a space between them, so hello world should all be one word. And to check this, check the value of string 3 here, it's hello world. But you see how there's no space between them? So I could either put space at the start of one of these, or I could put a space here and add like that and reassign. And in this way, we've got a new value made of those two, uh, two prior variables. So this is actually made of these two variables here. And I can then change that variable, the first variable again, to become, I don't know, let's say Pokemon world yeah so we'll change that variable to be pokemon and now string three is going to say pokemon world when asked for its value and there you are what i'm trying to demonstrate essentially is that the variables can be changed over time at any time uh, you wish this is why they are called variables because they may vary and essentially they just hold whatever number or whatever thing they're assigned to there might be functions that you use on a variable that change it permanently or that use a variable to create a new variable 
like out of certain variables and certain numbers but all i wanted to t you to take away from this is that variables are not static they are changeable they can be changed manually like uh, how you see here gertrude's number has been assigned 84 and then reassigned a different value composed of two numbers they can be co composed of a solid value or they can be composed of a value derived from two or more uh, other variables or just one other variable this could be just equal to number two if we wanted it to be and um, yeah basically they can just be remade they can also be changed by uh, certain programs for example so, so sorry certain functions for example so we might have a function called change string string one and rather than giving us a value based on string one it might actually change the contents of string one to a, a, a new contents maybe it'll say pokey means or something like that a anything could happen essentially but what i'm trying to get at the point i try to get at is that these variables do change and as i say they can be changed manually uh, in various ways and altered by functions the other thing i wanted to show you is just this float conversion and also that that it's important to carry on this uh, kind of table of conversion if you ever want to convert values that's about all